Why didn't I have to wander off like this? I knew I should have stayed with the group. Now I'm all alone, lost in this creepy forest. Who knows what could happen out here? Don't worry, my good fellow. I'm here to help you. Who are you? Were you following me? Oh, no. I was just happening to wander these woods myself. I, and I overheard your predicament. As for who I am, I can call... You can call me Eric the Elf. Well, what do you Eric, want from me... Alec the Elf. I happen to have something that might interest you greatly. It's an insurance policy specifically designed for travelers like yourself who find themselves lost in the forest. An insurance policy? Is that really necessary? Besides, I don't have much money on me right now. Ah, but you can really... But can you really put a price on peace of mind? Your lucky, it was I who appeared in the middle of these woods and not something more sinister. But with this policy, you'll be protected against all sorts of unforeseen dangers and mishaps. I don't know. I spent all my money on the Come Master Deluxe 2000 and my parents won't increase my allowance. It's a very reasonably priced policy, and the benefits highly outweigh the costs. Allow me to elaborate. What if you encounter a pit full of Harley's Hellspawns? If you fall in, well, you can imagine what might happen. Oh, would you say there are many pits full of Harley's Hell Spawn in the woods? Most certainly. And what about a group of a Spetsnaz war criminal people who prey on strangers in the daylight? Good heavens, I had no idea a Spetsnaz war criminal posed that kind of danger. Sorry to scare you, but yes, it's very true. You may also wish to know that negative one percent of people who get lost in the woods fall victim to homosexuality. Really? Homosexuality? Out in these woods? Of course, homosexuality is mostly linked to genetics. But between you and me, I suspect a strong correlation between homosexuality and having sex in a Porta John upside down here at the woods. <laughs> having sex in a Porta John upside down in these very woods. Now, why would I be doing that? You might come across a Spetsnaz war criminal who wants to have sex in the Porta John upside down. You know, <laughs> Peer pressure. <laughs> I suppose if I saw a Spetsner's war criminal doing having sex in a Porta John upside down, then I might be inclined to join in. Exactly. So you'll want an insurance policy, insurance policy to protect you in the event of having sex in a Porta John <laughs> upside down homosexuality. <laughs> what? Well, why? When you put, well, when you put it like that, then I would be silly not to have insurance. Where do I sign? Ah, well, it's such a popular policy that I ran out of scrolls. But for now, you can sign my man boobies. Here's a pen. <laughs> Takes a pen. Either side. Try to avoid the nipples if you would. They turned me on. I just sign your man boobies. Ah, very What's good. that feeling underneath my feet? 
Jump backward. Hmm. Oh, I felt it too. Oh no, I've fallen into a pit. <laughs> and it's full of Harley's hell spawn. Spawn. Elric, I oh, recommend my not insurance clenching. covers this, right? Um, terms and, terms and conditions apply. Apologies. <laughs>